Andariki Namaskaram. Miku Talangana Formation Day, Shub Akank Shalu. Well, hey everyone, can I just say kia ora and good evening. It is so good to see you all. And can I say thank you very, very much for what is an incredibly warm welcome. Um, this has been so much fun and it's been so enjoyable to come and celebrate uh, everything with you today. Can I just acknowledge uh, Shailenda Reddy Malgari, President of the Telangana Association. Can I also acknowledge Raj Loka, the General Secretary. And can I also acknowledge my good friend Shiva Kalare and say thank you Shiva for everything that you do as well in the community. And finally to all of the team, the great team that is here that has made the community together and doing some amazing things and amazing work in the broader New Zealand community. Thank you for what you do. And I just have to say it is a great pleasure to be here to, and a great honour to join you in celebrating the 10th anniversary of the formation of the Telangana State. Um, the pace of Telangana's progress is just remarkable. It is quite incredible. And the way that that economy has grown to be amongst the fastest growing in India is quite something. When you think about all the IT, all the pharmaceuticals, all the natural resources, the textiles that are growing that economy, it is quite something. And later on this year, I plan to lead a big delegation to India. And... Um, <laughs> And I'm not sure whether I'm going to Hyderabad or yet, yet uh, or not, but I hope, hope I can. And the reason's very simple, is that I love India. I've been there many, many times. It's a fantastic country, and I want New Zealand and India to have a much closer relationship. So I'm looking forward to uh, leading their uh, big delegation in the back half of this year. But look, I want to say to you all that it's a phenomenal uh, thing to be with you here this evening. And I want to say how much I admire and I appreciate uh, what you have brought to New Zealand. Because all of you have left your home, you've left your families, you've left your culture, you've left your language, and you've come here to New Zealand in search of a better life for you and your families. And I think you have made New Zealand a much better place by virtue of a strong, passionate Telangana community here in New Zealand. So I want to say that you inspire us um, you are a great role model to the rest of New Zealand because I've seen how hard you work. I've seen you take that first job, that second job, that third job in order to get that deposit for a house or a business. And I know how hard you're working, getting up each day, going to work, getting the kids to school, surviving week by week, paycheck to paycheck, uh, doing an incredibly good job. And you are a great example to the rest of New Zealand. So thank you so much uh, for what you do. And clearly my job is to back people like you, hard-working New Zealanders who want to go out and make something of themselves and their families and their community. And so that's why we're working hard as a government to rebuild the economy, restore law and order so we feel safer, make sure we get our kids with great education and great health care as a result. Um, this week we had our budget, and I just wanted to highlight a couple of things to you. The first is we are going to spend $1.9 billion more on law and order. And the reason is very simple. Yep. We said we would restore law and order, and we've got a lot of work to do because we've had a lot of crime in New Zealand, and we want that going down. And so that money will enable us to get more police, more corrections officers, more prison beds, more, more um, frontline services, more rehabilitation services. It will enable us to crack down on the serious young offenders, and it will enable us to crack down on the gangs that are causing so much of our violent crime in this country. So rest assured, help is on its way. The second thing I want to say to all of you is that the budget, I said we would deliver tax relief for working New Zealanders, low and middle income workers, doing it right, going to work, working incredibly hard. So from the 31st of July this year, the average household income Will get, could get up to $102 per fortnight uh, of tax relief. And then, and then if you have young children that are in early childhood education or early childhood centres, you could get up to another $150 a fortnight. So I know all of our numbers, all of your numbers are different, but I just say go to um, uh, budget.govt.nz over the weekend 
put your numbers in, put your partner's numbers in, your family finances, and within one minute you'll get clear as to what the benefit that you can expect to get on a fortnightly basis and on an annual basis. So give that a go because I'm really proud of the fact that we have delivered tax relief like we talked about. Hey, listen, so we're going to rebuild our economy. We're going to restore law and order. We're going to deliver better health and education. That's what my job is over the next few years. But I want to say we back people like you uh, because you get up and give it a go and you are uh, working incredibly hard to make a better uh, future for yourself, for your family and for your community. And for that, we are very, very grateful uh, for all of you. So again, thank you for the invitation. Thank you for the opportunity to join with you to celebrate 10 years of the Telangana State. Uh, can I say, Mali Kaludum, thank you very much.